Hi, my name is Janetta Yusufovich, and I did my research paper on the uses and gratification theory. This is a theory that was developed in the 1940s to see how and why people depend on media. My thesis for this paper was that over time since media has grown and we have gotten social media, this theory has just developed into something even bigger. The main concept of uses and gratification theory is the idea of not the idea of not what media does for people, but what people do with media. This is a theory that studies essentially why we chose why we choose a certain media. For example, why would someone choose to watch CNN rather than NBC News. So it just kind of comes down to how these programs make you feel or how what they're saying is more is more with what you would agree with. Throughout my paper I discussed the fact that over the years people have become more dependent on media and today with technology like our cell phones and our computers we kind of attach ourselves to these we attach ourselves to different social media. So we will check our Facebook a million times a day or our Instagram, you know, we'll check it, we'll scroll through it, we'll exit out of it, and then and then you'll just find yourself going back in there and scrolling through it all over again, even if you've already just seen everything that's posted. The idea of this is that this, within the uses and gratification theory, is that we are seeking something that's going to make us feel better. So that is why we're consistently going back into that social media phase of where we're just scrolling through and looking for things that we might have already seen and things that we don't necessarily even need but we have become so dependent on media and social media that we thrive for it we think that it's gonna make us feel better throughout my paper I discussed how current President Donald Trump used uses and gratification theory for his election. So a part of uses and gratification theory is that you are seeking that or seeking that thing that's going to make you feel better. So when Donald Trump was running for president of the United States of America, he started targeting an audience that felt like they no longer had a voice in this country, an audience that their ideas and views were no longer considered right. So that would be people that believe in just kind of an older way of things where we're not under the concept of we're all the same. So due to Donald Trump targeting these people through his speeches and his campaigns of building a border wall across Texas and Southern California to prevent immigration from Mexico, um, his ideas of the fact that immigrants are these terrible, awful people that cause all the tr crimes within our country, those are the things that attracted the people that voted for Donald Trump. So these are the people that, again, felt for a long time like they didn't have a voice within our country because our country was moving into a different direction of equality. And with Donald Trump, we have taken that step back. But those people that voted for Donald Trump and that paid attention the facts of what he was saying that was drawing them in so they felt great and they felt better about themselves because someone out there that was running for the highest power of our country that person was telling them that what they believe and what they think that that is right and that is still currently like how we should think and feel so that is why those people essentially so that is why those people essentially came out of hiding and out of the shadows and went to vote and they support Donald Trump and they show up to the rallies. So that is an example of uses and gratification. If you are familiar with the election or even currently what our, our president does, our president uses the media a lot for his, for his own gains. Another thing that I used an example in my paper about is that President Trump spends a lot of time talking about fake news and how media outlets, media outlets like MSNBC or CNN or ABC, these outlets are fake news essentially. They don't actually tell the true story about what's going on in our country or about what President Trump thinks. So this is why President Trump only associates himself with Fox News because this is a news company that is more on the conservative side of things 
and they are the ones that he will do interview with, interviews with. They're always the media company that is going to agree with President Trump. So whatever he says, they're going to find ways to back that up. This is also why supporters of President Trump are going to go ahead and gravitate towards Fox News because Fox News is going to make them feel great about the fact that they voted for President Trump or about the fact that President Trump is still for all the things that they're for in regards to if they did watch MSNBC, they might hear things that are going to be anti-President Trump and those things obviously would not make someone who voted for President Trump feel great. It's going to make them feel like they might have made a mistake or it's going to give you different emotions that are not going to be within the whole this is something that I'm doing because it makes me feel good about myself. So as stated, the point of uses and gratification theory is that you seek media or you seek a certain media because of how it makes you feel. You're obviously not going to go ahead and watch YouTube clips that are going to make you sad. You're going to rather watch YouTube clips that are going to make you feel better about yourself or about the world or just make you have a better day, uh, make you laugh. So those are the things that this theory kind of falls under. People will even use outlets like this to live out fantasies so it's not always going to be like this makes me feel great sometimes people and as sad as it is to say people do can can feel gratification through watching or hearing something and that's necessarily bad so if somebody was watching a soap opera and it had contained a murder like if that made this person feel good they're living out their fantasy through this essentially these characters and this soap opera and that is another concept of uses and gratification theory. It's a way for people to live out their own fantasies. Uses and gratification isn't necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. It's just how a media is being used, presented to a person, and how that person is reciprocating that. This is just my understanding of uses and gratification theory, and this is how I see it playing into our world and our society. This video was not meant to be offensive to anybody, including President Trump or the people that voted for him. I just felt that that was a really good example of uses and gratification theory in today's world.